Hey guys, it's Shenoheed here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, I've got something pretty awesome to show you guys. So, as you know, Halo 4 never had a theater mode for campaign, or Sporn Ops for that matter. It was, um, you know, like, we had Halo 3, Halo Reach, we had ODST, they all had theater modes. But then we got Halo 4, it had theater mode for a lot of, uh, you know, for Forge and multiplayer. But not for campaign. That was uh, taken out, unfortunately. But uh, Lord Zed himself actually proved that theater mode still existed in Halo 4 campaign and could be enabled. And at the time, he did it for the uh, Xbox 360 version. But now he's done it again for MCC. And he actually uh, has a mod available now that you can download and install yourself that lets you enable theater mode for uh, campaign and Spartan Ops on Halo 4 MCC. So you can get his mod um, off the Halo Mods Discord server in the Halo 4 downloads section. And you can, he has a pinned post in there in that section. So you can just get it from here. But once you've downloaded uh, that mod file from him, uh, from the uh, Halo uh, Mods Discord server, just uh, simply open up the zip file, and then in this folder, you'll have uh, some instructions and other notes here and there. Uh, but the main thing you want is the DLL file that's in there. So next, you want to go to open another folder and go to wherever you installed Halo MCC. I'm doing the Steam version in this case, but uh, the instructions for how to do the Windows Store version will also be uh, in that zip file. You could uh, check it out if you want. But anyways, just go to wherever your Halo 4 is installed, uh, wherever your MCC installed, and then go into the Halo 4 folder. And then scroll down, and you'll see this Halo4.dll file. Just uh, simply rename this file, just to whatever you want, just you know, back it up. We're, we're, that's all we're doing, making it back up. So I just added the word original to it at, at the end. And then just drag and drop or copy and paste the uh, the new DLL file over, and then rename that to to just the Halo4.dll. Just you know, the, whatever you know, the same as the original DLL file, but uh, the the original is now backed up. So after you've done that, well, that's that's pretty much it. Now you simply go on Halo 4 campaign on MCC, just uh, any campaign mission, and well, you uh, that's it. <laughs> just play a little bit, and then you could uh, end the game. And then once you end the game, just head on over to the theater mode section, and that's it. Once you're here, your uh, campaign mission will be listed here and just start it up and you will have full working theater mode for Halo 4 campaign. Now, as I mentioned, uh, Lord Zed does have this in his notes in that uh, download included, but there are a few limitations and bugs and issues, which I'll mention in a bit. But one thing, one really awesome thing about this is that, you know, y you need to mod it to be able to like get the theater clips, but once you have theater clips available, you don't need to, you could undo the mod if you want. And the theater clips will still work. In fact, if you um, if you like back up your theater files, you know wherever it's stored on your PC, and then you like send it to like a friend or something, they could play, they could watch your theater clips on their end without needing this mod. So that's one of the really cool things. But anyways, um, like I said, you do need. There are a few caveats here. Uh, theater mode it does not have any. Um, you can't if you try to rewind, it just re rewinds the very beginning. And also, if you uh, if you want to end the clip, make sure to do it through this menu here. Don't do it through the uh, MCC pause menu, because uh, according to Lord Zed, if you try to end it through the MCC pause menu, it actually pretty much crash and freeze your game. So you want to end it through the actual in-game theater menu, like like so. So that's uh that's like the proper way, or I guess the safe crash-free way to uh, end the theater clip now. So. Yeah, and like I said, this also works for Spartan Ops, but Spartan Ops, there's also a few odd things here and there as well. Um, nothing like breaking uh, for theater mode, but um, th there are a few weird things we've seen a bit. But for the most part, uh, you know, just you can just do Spartan Ops normally, and then you know, once you've played enough of Spartan Ops, you can end the game, go to theater mode, same thing. However, this time around, in the theater section. It does not list Spart your Spartan Ops game as uh, you know what, what the actual mission was. In fact, it doesn't even show a picture of it. It just says Spartan Ops. It's just a generic uh, name, I guess. You know, it's just a uh, it's imageless. It's transparent there. But don't worry, it still works. You just you know if you do multiple Spartan Ops missions, you probably won't be able to tell um, which one is which unless you like memorize the order you did your Spartan Ops missions in. But uh, also the loading screen is like this too. It's uh, really it's really weird, but it, it still works nonetheless. Works perfectly fine. But there is 
<laughs> I mean, but wait, there's more. <laughs> there's um, one other uh, little weird thing in Spartan Ops, and that is the uh, the timeline in game. It has a prototype version there. You see on the left side there, it's a prototype timeline. That's well, I guess it was originally planned at some point in I, I guess in uh, in development, but it was cut. In fact, the entire theater mode was cut for Spartan Ops and campaign. But uh, that's just my guess. But you know, it, it's still there. You can get rid of it just by, by just by hiding the uh, the theater uh, HUD. And also, there's another uh, I guess you could call this a bug. But uh, all the quick time events in the game, the uh, the camera doesn't fully work. It, it kind of just stays pointed in the same direction. It doesn't move with like Chief's head movements. And also, you can't go to like third person or free camera mode by default either. But aside from that, it works great. And, you know, like I said, once you have your theater clips, you don't even need the mod anymore. You could just hold on to it. But, yeah, so hopefully you guys uh, found this to be helpful. And if you did enjoy this video or liked it, then make sure to leave a like. Uh, if you have any questions or if you need any help or anything else you want to check out or look into, just let me know in the comments below. And aside from that, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.